you are aware that uh, we had last met around uh, 10 days ago on April 21st to be precise and we had shared with you the updates about the situation arising out of the coronavirus and the COVID-19 pandemic. So we are here with you today again to share inputs with you about two important things. One, about the latest situation I think everybody should settle down, don't worry. There is absolutely no hurry. To share with you inputs regarding two things. One is the latest situation arising out of the coronavirus and the COVID-19 pandemic. And two is the series of additional welfare measures which the Administrative Council under the chairmanship of the LG has approved yesterday for different categories of people who are adversely affected by the lockdown. So I will first give you a brief about uh, the COVID situation. We have been giving you regular updates about the status of cases. And as we speak, the total number of cases is 614. The active number of cases is 390. 384 of these are in the Kashmir division and 6 of these are in the Jammu division. You are also aware that we have been seeing a fair number of recoveries and as we speak, there have been a total of 216 recoveries which include young children also. We also have had eight unfortunate deaths so far. Nearly 70,000 people have been enlisted for surveillance under protocol and nearly 50,000 people, rather over 50,000 people, have completed the mandatory 28 days period of surveillance. So, in so far as the COVID situation is concerned, at this point of time, we have a reasonably good report card. The daily positivity rate has shown a downward trend. The rate of doubling of positive cases, the rate of increase of cases has slowed down and the number of days it takes for the doubling of cases has increased. In fact, there was a report this morning which compared the performance of different states and union territories in India. And this shows that our testing rates continue to be the highest in the country, well above the median rates. Our percentage rise continues to be low, resulting in a high doubling rate. Our mortality is just above 1%, which is also quite low, considering the number of cases. And most importantly, more than 90% of our cases are traceable, which means we can trace the source which they came from, contacts, different sources, etc. Over 80% of our cases continue to be asymptomatic. We are thankful to everybody, especially the common citizens of Jammu and Kashmir, for their excellent, unstinted, wholehearted cooperation in enforcing the lockdown, in restricting movements voluntarily. And all these measures have helped us maintain an effective lockdown. This, in turn, has helped us to slow the spread of the virus and put in place a strong containment strategy. As a result, we have gained valuable time, which the health department and others have used for building capacities. For example, 
we now have 17 covid hospitals over 20000 isolation beds 50000 non hospital quarantine beds and so on and so forth we have been following an aggressive testing strategy and we continue to be among the top few states or UTs in the country in this regard. Our testing capacity has increased from one lab to four lab. The testing rate is now over 1500 per million, which is one of the highest in the country. We have been competing with ourselves. So we have been ramping up our capacity. We started with less than 100 tests daily. A few days ago, I had tweeted that we had broken the 100 per day barrier of tests. Yesterday, we conducted 1800 tests. Our next, next target is to break the 2000 tests per day barrier. And I am very sure that we are going to do it in the next two or three days, if not earlier. From all that I have said above, our current position appears reasonably comfortable. But I have a note of caution here. We are dealing with a dangerous, unpredictable and highly infectious enemy. Many of our neighboring states have learned difficult lessons and learned them the hard way when they saw their cases show a sudden jump. For example, when many of their citizens returning from outside tested positive in large numbers. We also have a number of students laborers outside Jammu and Kashmir who are expected to return and it is very important for all of us to ensure that there is absolutely no complacency. We continue to have a number of red zones, a number of hotspot districts across the length and breadth of Jammu and Kashmir and this is another reason why we should be more alert and watchful. And I must say so, even at the risk of repetition, that any premature exuberance or celebration can cost us extremely dearly and that there is absolutely no room for complacency of any kind. As a result, we will further strengthen our surveillance systems and procedures. I have already mentioned to you that our next target is 2000 tests per day. We have already started pool testing. We will further continue with this. I had mentioned to you last time that we will be doing a 100% health audit. I am happy to inform you that the process of conducting a 100% percent health audit for the entire JNK using the Swasthya Nidhi app is already under full swing. In the next one week to 10 days, we should be able to complete this health audit across the entire Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir, which by itself will be a unique innovation unheard of in any other state or UT of the country. Parallelly, we are encouraging the downloading and use of the Arag Arogya Setu app and over 8 lakh users have so far, so far installed this app in the UT. Our self-restraint discipline must continue. I must repeat that even if you are allowed to go out, please go out even if you only if you must and if there is no other alternative and if you must go out, please use masks please follow all other advisories. We have already made the wearing of a mask compulsory. 1.2 crore masks will be made across Jammu and Kashmir. 40 lakh masks already stand distributed. The rest are in the process of being made and being distributed. 
primary households, AAY households are being given masks free of cost. The rest are being given masks on subsidized rates. Please make full use of them. The message in so far as COVID is concerned, one, we are doing well on the recovery front. We have no patients on ventilators. We have a low mortality rate. We have 384 active cases in Kashmir, six active cases in Jammu. But having said so, there is absolutely no room for complacency. We have to continue to be alert. We have to continue to be watchful. We have to make sure that we do not give any opportunity for this deadly virus to re-emerge, to infect us. I will now brief you about the welfare measures and the relief measures. We are conscious of the fact that the lockdown has led to hardships to a large number of people. The lockdown has led to difficulties for a number of people who were earning on daily basis. It has adversely affected a number of businesses. You are aware and we have been briefing you about this that the UT administration under the directions of the LG has already been implementing a number of welfare measures for laborers, workers, destitutes. You are aware that we were providing food and other support for nearly 50,000 laborers. Similarly, we were providing direct benefit support for construction workers. Similarly, we were providing support for parents of students or children who were entitled to midday meals and so on and so forth, free gas cylinders, uh, Pradhan Mantri, Garib Kalyan Yojana, uh, you are all aware of this package of relief measures. Now, in order to further provide relief to people affected by uh, the lockdown and the specific categories of people who were badly affected, the Administrative Council, in its meeting held on 29th 4 2020 that is yesterday under the chairmanship of the lieutenant governor jammu and kashmir decided on a further relief package of nearly 350 crores for various categories of affected people now there are eight categories of people who have been who affected and who are being provided relief or will be provided relief under this package uh, the first category is nearly 1.8 lakh construction workers who will be given 1000 rupees per month for three months. The total figure will be around 35 crores. One month of relief has already been given through DBT. Two months of further relief will be given. People affected adversely in the tourist trade, including houseboat people, Shikara Walas registered with the tourism department will be given 1,000 per month for the next three months. There are around 6,000 such people registered. The total cost will be 1.8 crores. Poni Walas, Pithu Walas working in Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi Ji Shrine, Sri Amarnath Ji Board, different tourism development authorities numbering around 27,000 will also be supported with rupees 1000 per month for three months this will cost a total of 8.1 crores registered and active flower growers numbering nearly 850 will also be given similar support street vendors ready walas fadi walas thela walas registered with jammu municipal corporation srinagar municipal corporation will again be supported with rupees 1000 per month for three months uh, this will amount to a total of nearly one crore rupees there are a number of other categories who will be given business support self-help groups under umid nearly 30,000 in number will be given a support of rupees 25,000 up front per group to begin with and 75,000 per group subsequently and the total amount for this will be nearly 75 crores. Women entrepreneurs, women development groups, aggregators, nearly 10,000 groups will receive a support 
of 25 25 crore rupees hand loom handicraft shgs nearly numbering nearly 20000 will similarly get a support of 200 crore rupees the total cost of these relief measures will be nearly 350 crore rupees the administrative council under the chairmanship of the lieutenant governor yesterday also approved a number of other administrative measures in order to ease the pain in various business sectors and to alleviate the difficulties of ordinary citizens one the administrative council approved the renewal oblique extension of registration certificates for licenses permits all other statutory clearances which were due up to 31st of march and extended this period up to the 30th of june 2020 second it has also ordered that the levy of fixed component of power charges may be deferred in respect of all registered commercial establishments across all sectors and this deferment will be till 30th of june 2020 the administrative council was also informed that a number of msmes other small business units have payments pending with various government departments it has therefore ordered that a committee under the chairmanship of commissioner secretary industries be set up this committee will have representations from all major departments such as rnb jal shakti rdd and any other department as may be necessary it will examine all pending payments and ensure that all pending liabilities which are legitimate will be cleared by 15th of may 2020 for this purpose this committee will meet on a daily basis so this was the package of support measures relief measures aimed at different classes of citizens and different categories of people